Hey, you remember when uh, Notion bought Cron and like nothing's happened since? What? What was that jab, Dimitri? Don't make comments like that on the internet. All right, well, in all seriousness, they were doing something. They were taking this amazing app and putting it on your phone. And it left me asking the question, is Cron the best iPhone app for calendars right now? I don't know, but this is pretty cool. First and foremost, something great I do have to mention is Notion did it right. And if you go to the widgets and type in Cron, yeah, huh? they got two different widgets. They got this one, which showcases what's coming up. And then this one that showcases what's coming up, but also allows you to make a new item. So if I do that right here, then press this little plus in the bottom left, bottom left, press this plus, bada bing, bada boom. You have the option to make a new event right away. So I can do record videos late because I'm a workaholic. What? Holic. Okay. And then I can press conferencing and I could add Google Meet and it creates the Google Meet for you. And you can assign the different calendars. And all of this is very responsive. I got to say, not very laggy, not very bad at all. I can set this to be rise productive. Yep. Then if I press done, should pop up at the end of the day. And when you press on these, it does a little bit of a slide up. It doesn't go full page, which I do kind of like the fact that it still shows you a little bit, but you can slide it right back up. You can switch to quickly do recurring events. So I can change it to repeats every two weeks, every month, every year. Um, this is not scrollable. So it's only this stuff right here and you can press like every weekday. I do want, not want to make that actually happen though. <laughs> so I can press here and you're seeing the d three dots. I can do duplicate or block on calendar or delete event. So then block on calendar would mean I can add that to this growth one. You can choose to show as busy or not. So I'll show as busy. So then you'll see now it's in two spots. And then if I want to delete it, press delete. Cool. Now we do want to point out that on the top here, it's got a little drop down for the month and you can click on a specific day. And since I am on the two day option right now, it's showing me two days. But if I go here, I can pick between one day, two day, three day. I was going to say blue day, but that's the, the <laughs> those are the choices that you have. So then if you'll notice here on the top right, it shows you what the date is and you'll see on the top right as well. I'm taking a little holiday. I'm taking a break. Hey, is that why I'm recording right before that night when I never record at night? Yeah, probably. Um, and is that me tomorrow doing meal prep like an adult? Yes, I'm clean and I cook. It shouldn't be surprising. doesn't matter how I look or my age. And then if you just want to make a new meeting, you can press the bottom right there and it will prompt the entire section as well. Now, a couple things to note that Cron does not have that something like Morgan does. It doesn't have like tasks or anything. So you can't really like daily planner with this thing. But I got to say the functionality on this is pretty solid. The scrollability on this is nice. It's very quick and easy. You know, I go here and I press this date range over here. It'll give me the three days and I think it's very smooth when I swipe it and will always, if you are on another section you can go to the top right and you press that 20 since today's the 20th when I'm recording this, it will get you back to the home base of whatever day it is. I also like the touch that it shows what time it is and has that line going through the middle. That's a nice user experience thing that a lot of other apps don't have. Some do Google Calendar as a default doesn't, so definitely like this and then on the bottom, it also shows you what upcoming meetings you have, which is very convenient. So earlier I had a discovery call with a new potential client. And basically if I had a phone call, so if I did this guy made a new Google meet at like, and I changed the time here and at like 8 PM called it meeting, added myself as a participant. I then would see upcoming in 14 minutes. And if I slide it up, I can also join the Google meet from my phone, which is Pretty cool, actually. You wanna see my face twice? You wanna see like a double inverted Dimitri? That is gross. What is that? Oh my God. Get it out of here. Overall though, round of applause for Notion. Hey, good job. And round of applause for you if you check out this video.